you joined Nervosa this year. Maybe you could tell us uh, how did it all happen? Well, I think it's the good things uh, of uh, social media because uh, you have the opportunity to know other musicians and uh, for Nervosa, female musicians. And uh, uh, Prika used to follow me on Instagram from before. I, of course, knew Nervosa as a band. And uh, when the um, opportunity came and she wanted a bass player, uh, she asked. And of course, I was very honored to, to participate. You joined this year, uh, Mikaela joined also this year, and Helena last year. Uh, how is the band dynamic at the moment? It's uh, very good. Um, we had a lot of uh, festivals and uh, live shows, uh, especially during the summer. We played, I think, almost everywhere in Europe. So we got to know each other very well, and the chemistry is really good. How do you see your own effect on Nervosa's music or sound? Well, um, so far, I'm not. I'm like a few months in the band, so I haven't really contributed in the sound. Uh, the The album that's going to be released now, Jailbreak, was recorded before I joined, so I wasn't able to add my let's say, musical influence there, but uh, at least at the very last moment, we managed to add the uh, bass in one song, and uh, that's the song Seed of Death. So one song of the album has me as well, so that's something. <laughs> Which direction might uh, your musicianship uh, take the band sound? Um, I think the way it goes, uh, that's like more versatile and it already has um, way more elements than just thrash metal. And that's going to show with this album as well. Uh, that's how it will continue, like being more um, enriched in the sound and having uh, more, let's say, genres or influences in the sound. You mentioned the Seed of Death uh, has uh, your base on it so could you tell a bit about uh, how did that happen how did you get to play on the one song well like i said the album was already recorded and everything was ready but um, since i joined at the very last minute um it was like freak also suggested it and it was well mine as well uh, uh let's say will something to be part of me in this album and uh, we decided that Seed of Death would be ideal at least like to add in one song bass so it's one of my favorite songs of the album so I'm glad it happened any other favorites and why on the upcoming 13 songs I think it's like because every song is so different to, from, to the other uh, I really can't say even like the those that have already been released like uh, endless ambition and jailbreak um they are so different but so like um i don't know they have the nervosa spirit i cannot really choose a favorite i mean it, the whole album it's like so strong as if it's one song you know so yeah <laughs> Well, you mentioned the Nervosa spirit and that you have been very uh, busy this summer. So uh, what are your favorite live songs? Live songs? Uh, I must say Jailbreak and Seed of Death, of course, from the new album. Uh, Perpetual Chaos, always love to play that song. Um, into Wash Pit, Time to Fight. Uh, yeah, everything that creates actually a mosh pit is, is great to play. Playing in multiple bands at the same time is, of course, not anything new to musicians. But how do you balance uh, your time between bands? It's not easy, but we have to be like organized and see when each band 
has like a tour or a live show and uh, where to prioritize. Um, it might, things might happen at the same time. So it might be quite weird at, the, at that point, but usually uh, we manage to make time individually for each band. So, so far it's working. <laughs> From an artistic viewpoint, how is it to play in uh, very different bands? Oh, from artistic point, uh, that's great. Uh, you have many, many ways to express yourself. And I am also a big black metal fan. So that's a big part of me. And I would never, um, you know, stop playing black metal. Uh, so it's great to have, uh, to do what you love in all kinds of genres. That's that's great. There's uh, some touring coming up in Mexico for Nervosa, but how do you see the future of Nervosa in a bit bigger picture? Look, uh, there is this tour in Mexico, and then there is a festival, the Metal Hammer Festival in Germany. But next year, because of the release of the new album, it's going to be full of touring, uh, tour in the US, tour in South America, another tour in Europe. So it's going to be lots and lots of live shows. We also have uh, the 70,000 tons uh, medal in uh, uh, January, which is great. Uh, so yeah, a lot of touring, a lot of promotion for the album. Nervosa has traditionally uh, released an album maybe in every two, three years. Uh, have you already talked or... Is there any ideas already for uh, new music? Yes, ideas all the time. And uh, I hope that the, the new album, the next album, I will be way more present than I was in this one. And um, yeah, we, I mean, inspiration is always there. And uh, I can't wait to add uh, my ideas in the, the next work. Talking a bit outside Nervosa, it seems like you are very busy with music at the moment. Uh, at least it seems that both uh, Web and Afterblood will be releasing new music. So what can you tell me about those upcoming releases? Um, Web, uh, we release a new EP at the, the end of October. And actually, we're going to have two video clips uh, coming up. Uh, the one is going to be, at, I think, October 10th, where the song, it's like a remake of a previous song from the album Colosseum, uh, Necrology. And now it's going to be called Necrology of Hell, where I'm going to do the vocals. And we're going to have a video clip with this. So I'm very excited about that. And then we're going to have the release of the EP along with another video clip with the name of the EP, uh, Into Hellfire. So that's going to be really great, uh, like not album, but EP with a lot of new stuff there just to uh, prepare the way of the new album of Web. And then with the Afterblood is going to be a new album at the beginning of 2024. <laughs> So it's like now we are in the mixing, mastering of the album. Is there anything you can tell about the upcoming After Blood album? It's uh, mostly groove, death metal. And um, uh, it's been way too long for it to be released. So um, all the songs there have been very carefully prepared. And uh, we had a lot of time to think over those songs. And I'm very happy with the results, and I think people are going to really enjoy it. Kill the great, kill the great.